Hello everybody, this is Dom from Seven Sins here again. Uh, today I'm just going to cover some PS3 um, videos. I didn't want to leave our PS3 friends out. Um, first thing I think we're going to do here is we're just going to cover a basic um, decryption and encryption of your save file with brute force. As you know, you can't um, directly open a PS3 save um, right from its folder or you will get this message and basically what this is telling you is that your save is not decrypted um, so you're gonna have to run that through brute force before you can open it with gibbed and it's fairly easy basically what you do is you open up brute force here um, and these this little three dots here is open and so you just navigate to wherever your save file is. I just have one sitting on my desktop here that we're going to use. <clears throat> so now this will show you your save, uh, the save file name here. Uh, all you need to do is make sure this is selected and hit decrypt PFD all files. It will ask you if you want to decrypt the save. You'll say yes. And now this will turn green here showing that these files are decrypted. So now once this is done, we can go back into GIB and we'll find our same file and like magic it opens. So now you can modify whatever you want um, as far as you know whatever you need to do in here. Make sure you save your file when you go to save. Now you can save this as a backup on your computer somewhere if you want wherever you'd like um, but might make sure to update the one that you're working on just go to the folder and click save and once you've done that you just need to go back into brute force and hit update PFD go down here to full and this will re-encrypt all the files <clears throat> and then hit verify PFD and you're set now you can copy this back to your PS3 drive and save it back to your PS3 what I'm gonna cover here real quick is another thing that I've um, done with brute force is because a lot of times brute force does not like to clear out your previous history um, by using the refresh button so what I do uh, this is just a method that I've used and it's worked pretty well for me uh, modding other people's save files and whatnot is now that I've got this this is the folder we're working on down here uh, now that it's ready to go um, what I do is I'll just um, copy this folder and I'm just gonna copy it somewhere you can copy it anywhere you want either another folder on your hard drive or wherever right now I'm just gonna copy it to my um, flash drive now once you've got that copied just go up to your save here right click on it and say delete selected save data and say yes and you'll see that'll delete the folder that's down here that we're working on and I'll also clear it out from brute force so that the next time you try to decrypt something uh, everything should go uh, as normal sometimes what will happen is if there's still some save data in here um, and you load a new save um, you'll come down here and you'll say decrypt PFD and you'll know that it's not working correctly because instead of asking if you'd like to decrypt the save you're working on it'll ask you if you want to decrypt a, a different file and that's that's how you know it won't be working o obviously then you'll also be able to notice you won't be able to open the file in Gibbed uh, either way so uh, that's going to do it for this basic video here um, I'm probably going to do another video or two on a couple different things um, here in the near future and I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.